Hello, my name is Dorothy McFadden. I am one of the registered dietitians that works at the bariatric program at St. Luke's Hospital in Allentown. Today I am going to talk to you about protein needs after weight loss surgery. Protein is one of the most important nutrients to monitor after weight loss surgery. In the first year after surgery, you will be rapidly losing weight. And as a result, you will lose some muscle mass. If you do not meet your protein needs, you will lose more muscle mass. Your body can use your fat cells to meet its calorie needs, but it cannot get protein from your fat cells, so muscle is broken down. You are having weight loss surgery to become healthier, not to become malnourished. So it is important to eat foods high in protein after your surgery. What foods contain protein? Most protein foods come from animals and animal products. For instance, milk, cheese, yogurt, poultry, beef, fish, shellfish, eggs all come from animals. Non-animal sources of protein include beans, tofu, edamame, and soy milk. Protein sources from meat generally provide about 7 grams of protein per ounce. Non-animal sources of protein contain about 8 grams of protein per one half cup. So it's important to choose your foods wisely. In the first three months after surgery, you'll be eating a quarter cup of food three times per day. One quarter cup of meat generally weighs about three ounces, but it's important to measure your portions instead of weighing them. After your surgery, you will become full very easily and may not have an appetite. As a result of your surgery, you will not feel physically hungry, and many times foods do not taste the same to you after surgery. You will need to keep an open mind and keep trying different foods. Start off with softer proteins such as eggs, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, non-fat cheese, tofu, tuna or egg salad, soft-cooked ground beef, fish, and shellfish. Ground beef mixed with taco seasoning or made as meatballs cooked until soft and sauce all day is generally well tolerated. Um, and believe it or not, many of my patients eat chili for breakfast after their surgery. When you can tolerate softer proteins, move on to protein foods with more texture such as poultry, ham, low-fat breakfast meats, beef, and pork. These more fibrous meats may take more time to tolerate, so be sure to try each food multiple times. Chew your food very well until it is applesauce consistency before swallowing. Slow cook some of your meats in a crock pot and make items like chicken stew, pulled pork, or beef stew. Moist cooking methods will make these foods easier to swallow. And remember, if you have an episode of vomiting, go back to liquids for 24 hours to allow the stomach irritation to subside. Patients frequently ask me, if I am only able to eat two tablespoons of food per meal, how do I meet my protein needs? In this case, a protein supplement is needed. I recommend whey protein isolate products for protein supplementation. These are powders that can be mixed with non-fat milk, lactate milk, soy milk, almond milk, or water. You can mix the protein supplements in a blender or blender bottle. Add a quarter cup frozen fruit and lots of ice as protein supplements taste better when they are cold. Some can be frozen and eaten with a spoon. Whey protein isolate contains more protein than whey protein concentrate products. Whey protein concentrate blends contain only about 29% protein. Whey protein isolates have had lactose removed and are a more concentrated source of protein. Isolate products generally contain greater than 90% protein by weight. Protein is made up of amino acids, and there are amino acids that your body can make, and then there are indispensable or essential amino acids that you need to get from your diet. If you are not eating enough essential amino acids, then your body is forced to break down your muscle to maintain your vital organs. This is why it is so important to use a whey protein isolate or soy protein isolate product, as it will contain a higher concentration of essential amino acids. So here is an example of a post-op menu that would meet your protein needs. Breakfast, a quarter cup egg or egg substitute, 8 grams of protein. Lunch, 2 ounces of fish, which equals 14 grams of protein. One planned snack of a quarter cup cottage cheese, which is 7 grams. 
Dinner is 3 ounces of turkey or 21 grams. The total from food would be 50 grams of protein. That's not enough to meet your needs, so you take in an extra protein supplement of 20 grams, and that gives you a total of 70 grams of protein for the day. This would be adequate for a woman. A man would have to take another half of a protein supplement to meet his 75 to 85 grams per day of protein. What happens if you do not consistently meet your protein needs? Your body will be forced to catabolize or break itself down. This leads to poor wound healing, hair loss, poor skin integrity, fatigue, inability to fight illness, decreased red blood cell production, and edema or fluid retention in your legs. Overall, you will not look healthy, and people ask you if something is wrong. Do not allow yourself to get to this point of protein malnutrition. It will take a while to replete your protein stores and even longer to build back the lean body mass or muscle that you lost. How much protein is recommended after weight loss surgery? For women, 60 to 70 grams per day, and for men, 75 to 85 grams per day. It is important to keep track of what you eat so that you know if you are meeting your protein needs. I suggest using an online food journal or phone app to track your intake. Some of the sites that I recommend are Spark People, My Fitness Pal, Calorie County, Fit Day, or My Net Diary. But there are a variety of different apps available. The main purpose is to track your protein as your calorie intake will be very low. Enter everything you eat and be sure to document your portions correctly. The program will add up your grams of protein and you will see if you are meeting your protein needs. Most men will need two protein supplements per day, and most women will need one protein supplement per day for the first 9 to 12 months after surgery. Protein supplements should be drank between meals to supplement your food intake. It is important to eat three meals a day so that you can get used to eating with your new stomach. You can use a protein supplement for breakfast, but then you would still need to eat three meals in addition to the supplement in the morning. Remember to always eat your protein foods first so that if you feel full, you can stop. As you get further out after your surgery, you will be always eating your protein food first, then vegetables or fruits, and then your other whole grains last. This is the way you will eat the rest of your life to ensure that your protein needs are met. The first three months after surgery can be a frustrating time for some, as it takes a while to get used to chewing your foods well and not drinking with your meals. Sometimes you do well with a certain food for several days, and then one day it will make you feel sick. You just need to work through this time period. Others will not have any problems at all with eating. If you are one of the ones who experiences some difficulty, feel free to call either Lisa, Terry, or myself for advice. We are all here to help you be successful and provide the support that you need. Thank you for your time.